By now, everybody knows Iris Mittenair was named the next Miss Universe. She was uh, named Miss Universe on the 30th of January. She's Miss Universe 2016, which I know she gets crowned in 2017. That makes you Miss Universe 2016. I don't know. It, it, it's strange. It's something that I think developed over the years. Uh, she, of course, was crowned in Manila, Philippines. But instead of going through what you all know, what you saw on television, what we're going to show you today on the Pageant Cast Gazette is we are going to show you some of the behind the scenes and before the event type activities. All the video, all the photos that you see in today's program are brought to you courtesy of the Miss Universe organization. So enjoy the run up to Miss Universe 2016 held in 2017. All our video and photos here are courtesy of the Miss Universe organization. The pageant caps received a lot of great footage from this year's Miss Universe competition and as expected, Deshauna Barber Miss USA 2016 was featured prominently in much of that footage. Shauna even tells us about loving snakes, which I'm told many pageant girls have dated before. <laughs> but seriously, she has a pet snake, so you don't see even a little fear in her eyes here. So I have a pet ball python named Sanaya. Uh, she's much bigger than this one, but this one's adorable. It reminds me so much of her. I've had her for six years now. So. Yeah, I like snakes. Well, not that one. That one is an albino Burmese python gigantic. I, I'm not a fan of the huge, huge snakes. But um, these ones, I think they're so adorable. So. join the most beautiful audience on the internet, the pageant cast audience. I'm Rachel Janowski, Miss Teen Illinois Galaxy 2014, wishing you a tiara dream. Now I admit, I've been a little bit critical of this year's Miss Universe. I've been calling it the Miss Universe on a budget. Um, because it, it seems like there's less of the meet and greet sponsor-related glitzy spectacles in general that occurred this year in the Philippines. I really don't think this is the host country, which as you know loves pageants, and has really embraced having the event here. Just look at how they personally escort the ladies from the planes if you want an idea of that. And the crowds are tremendous. Uh, unlike when it's held stateside or some other countries where pageantry is not as popular. However, the depth of the tours has seemed to be kind of a notch down from past years, you know, going on uh, river cruise and, and going to factories and, and that sort of thing it seemed to be a little less frequent. I suspect with the fevered pitch of the fans, security may have been a contribution to that decision, but also I feel there's truly been an effort to try to economize by cooling out some of the more expensive types of events. Now, I can't substantiate this anymore, I don't know, they might have spent just as much as they always spent, but I, I've, I've watched the ramp ups to Miss Universe a number of years now, and it just seems like there's less volume of tours than there have been in past years. But let's keep in mind the crowds appear to be absolutely huge 
and the excitement in the Philippines to host the event cannot be over-exaggerated. Having said all that, some of the events they did have looked pretty darn awesome. The Miss Universe cruise caught Miss Argentina as she left her plane and asked her, was she excited to come to Miss Universe? Of course, it's my first time when I'm traveling to Manila, so I'm very excited. I know you have a beautiful country and very nice people, very, very warm people, so I'm excited. Now, despite my comments that it looked like they were down on the total amount of events, there were plenty of fashion shows and swimsuit shows picking up that slack. They did a lot. And there was the Governor's Ball, a swimsuit show, and much, much more. They certainly are prepared for a great year. All our video and photos here are courtesy of the Miss Universe organization. We just announced not too long ago that we had an app in the Android Play Store. Well, now we are in the Apple App Store as well. That's right, now you can get a pageant cast app in the two major mobile phone marketplaces in the Google Play Store and now in the Apple App Store. You can check out the pageant cast and its award-winning website. All the features that are there are here, uh, connections to our Facebook and Twitter accounts, and lots more. You'll want to check it out immediately at the links that are somewhere in our show notes or somewhere nearby, or just do a search on pageant cast we're the only thing that comes up as that app, surprising as that may be. Please download us and rate us today, and we would love to hear from you what you think about our app. Hope you enjoy it, the Pageant Cast app. Rehearsals seem to go smoothly, but how can they not? when you have such a lovely and talented group of young women taking part. We even got footage of our white glove director and you can see the marks that they put on stage to help you visualize what a production of this magnitude would be like. I thought it was important to include this because we have so many directors and young ladies that want to compete. Here's a good look behind the scenes at the rehearsals of Miss Universe. All our video and photos here are courtesy of the Miss Universe organization. Hi guys, welcome to this media information session for Miss Multiverse Australia. My name is Shalani Franken and I am the National Director of Miss Multiverse Australia. This is an exciting and adventurous new reality TV show and beauty contest. It's an, a, a hybrid between Next Top Model, The Apprentice and Survivor. So it's going to be a lot of fun is going to really entertain. The girls we are looking for are already beautiful, they are models, they are beauty queens and they've already established that side of themselves. But now they want to show their other side. They want an opportunity to show their business skills, their social skills, interpersonal skills, emotional intelligence and I can go on. 
What we are looking for are goals that are multiverse and multifaceted. We will handpick goals from across, across the country, from every state, and bring them together in the national finals. The national finals will be held in the last week of August up to the 2nd of September in 2017. This will be done in Sydney, Australia. Now at this period of time at the national finals, the girls will undergo a series of challenges. We will really push their limits and see what they're really made of. All the challenges are designed to test every part of them and also to entertain the viewer. At the end of the day, there will be 10 girls standing because there will be a series of eliminations. And these 10 girls will be at the final show. At the final show, we will select one girl. And this girl will go over to the world finals, which will be in Punta Cana in October. All of this, all the challenges, all the places we are going to visit, the activities are all based in Australia, really highlighting Australian landscapes, landmarks and iconic features. So the idea behind this is to really promote Australia as a country to the rest of the world and also within Australia. The show will be seen across the country and also in other countries across the world. Miss Multiverse is an established show. It's already airing in America and South America and it's in its uh, third season. Miss Multiverse Australia is now going to start shooting the second season. First season is already done and it's coming to your screens this year. And the second season will be shot this year at the next national finals. In terms of distribution, we have a few verbal agreements and a few negotiations under the way at the moment, but nothing yet that we can announce, but we will announce you guys as soon as we have any more information. If you have any questions, please send me an email australia at missmultiverse.com or have a look on our website australia.missmultiverse.com. I would love to hear from you guys with any questions, any feedback, um, any requests for photos or more information. And I will speak to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.